First look at Pixel Experience Stable based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi Poco X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up Munchie here, back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at the official build of Pixel Experience Stable based on Android 12 running on the POCO X3 Pro. As you can see, security patch is from December 2021. The kernel they are using is Perf kernel. This here is the official build of Pixel Experience Stable. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box now. Since this is Pixel Experience, you do get Pixel Launcher out of the box and here it is. Select works without any issues. Screenshot also works without any issues. This is how the power menu is going to look like and this is how your quick settings panel is going to look like you can of course add more tiles once you tap on the edit icon and here are the different options for your tiles which you can add after clicking on the edit option now you do have a screen recorder let us go ahead and give that a try now do note that you can of course record your internal audio and microphone at the same time so there it is screen recording has started and what we are looking for is if you have any lags or any jitters in the ui when you are using the screen recorder and yes there is some ui lag the animations are not as smooth as they are without a screen recording going on in the background Next up, if you press and hold on the empty space, we can of course go into the home settings. So these are your at a glance settings and you can of course customize what all content you want to see in your at a glance widget. Then we can also go ahead and check out the widgets which are available. So of course, make sure you have updated all your applications from the Play Store and you do have the paint chips widget. Then if you go into the clock option, you do have the multiple clock widgets as well. And if you go into the Google widget, you have the new weather widgets as well available and working without any issues. Similarly, if I go into wallpapers and style here and of course you can enable or disable your dark theme and this is how your dark theme is going to look like. Now do note that the power menu and the quick settings panel remain the same irrespective of whether it is dark theme or it is light theme. Then you can have themed icons as well and you can change the app grid similarly you can choose what accent color you want to use for your current material you theme and of course if you go into change wallpaper you do have the pixel 6 bloom light wallpapers which you can download and you have the static ones as well in curated culture you have the december drop wallpapers also available and once i change the wallpaper you will notice that material you is working absolutely fine and the new accent color should have applied to the icons and it should work on my google keyboard as well Next up, we can head over to the settings to have a look at the different customizations which Pixel Experience brings. So this is how the settings page is going to look like and you can of course search within the settings while you're talking about search. If I open the application drawer and here and if I search for anything, there it is. You can see that system wide search is working. Now going back into settings, we can go into apps, go into Chrome and go into permissions. So you have different options for permissions and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the precise location then you should also have an option to remove the permissions if app is not used for some time and once an application is removed because of that feature it will show up in this unused apps section then of course you can configure your default apps and yes game dashboard is enabled out of the box once you enable the toggle open any game you should get an arrow tap on the arrow then you can tap on the controller and these here are your different customizations which are available you have your screen recorder you have your fps you have your screenshot option and you can also enable do not disturb of course youtube live streaming works without any issues and this floating pill snaps to the edges of the screens as well then going back into apps you do have your special app 
access and screen time along with customization for google assistant next up we have notifications so you can of course control per app notifications you also have notification history along with priority conversations and bubbles now do note that whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then you have toggles for all the other options which you see on your screen right now Next up we have battery so in battery of course you have your toggle for battery percentage adaptive battery is there battery saver along with the pixel exclusive extreme battery saver is there and you can set a schedule for your battery saver in case you want to go into battery usage you do get a graph as well. Next up we have sound and vibration so you have sliders for all the different options then you have configuration of live caption adaptive sound your media player in the quick settings shortcut to prevent ringing and toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now and yes you can have different ringtones for the different sims in your device then we have display so here and of course you do have your adaptive brightness go into lock screen and you have your lock screen privacy in case you want to add a text on the lock screen do you want to wake the screen for new notifications screen timeout is there the feature of face detection is missing in screen timeout dark theme is there of course you can schedule it based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise and the same applies for night light as well then you can change the font size the display size can also be changed go into colors and you can switch between natural boosted and and saturated and all these options are working without any issues then you have a toggle for auto rotate screen and you also have enable face detection inside the auto rotate option next up you can configure your refresh rate so you can go from 60 90 and 120 now before you ask me hey Manchi, is the dynamic refresh rate feature working in my personal opinion i don't think so it is working because my formula one videos are at 50 fps and the display refresh rate it is at 60 so I don't think so the feature of dynamic is working properly it does switch between 60 90 and 120 but it's not going down to 50 then you also have double tap to wake so let us give that a try bam here it is double tap to wake is working without any issues on this specific build next up we have the feature of security so in security of course once you update your applications from the play store you will get the new ui now unfortunately no face unlock but you do have your fingerprint unlock working absolutely fine but again you only have touch to unlock you do not have press to unlock then you have your privacy dashboard wherein you can see what all apps have had access to location camera microphone then you have toggles to enable or disable your camera access microphone access and you also have quick setting tiles for these two options similarly you can also have the option of showing clipboard access in case you want to enable or disable that feature next up we have system so of course you do have live translate and you can download the languages now unfortunately live translate is not working with live caption which means it is not working in youtube then you have gestures so you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice go into system navigation you have three different options two button three button and full screen gestures here and you can of course swipe to invoke assistant and you can configure the sensitivity of the left edge and the right edge independently then you also have one-handed mode and as you can see one-handed mode is working without any issues press and hold the power button for assistant is also there once you enable the toggle you can adjust the press and hold duration using the slider at the bottom as well and then you also have prevent ringing so here in press power and volume up together to switch between vibrate and mute as long as the master toggle is enabled next up you also have rules so in case you want to set up a rule that once i leave my home i want to turn off the wi-fi turn bluetooth on automatically so those are all the features which you can configure in rules next thing we can do is let us go ahead and open the play store and here and we can check if the device is certified or not so here it is play protect certification device is certified this means your banking apps are going to work without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture 
either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium now with respect to google photos unfortunately you do not get unlimited photos and magic eraser is also not there however if i try to edit a picture of my favorite football star wait for the loading bar to finish then go into portrait light you do have the feature of portrait light here it is installed working without any issues now do note that portrait light is only going to work on human objects it is not going to work on my chicken friend over here so that is one thing which you need to keep in mind next up we can talk about the assistant lady yes the assistant lady is there she works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well and you also have the feature of interpreter mode wherein you can communicate with somebody who does not know your language so interpreter mode is there works without any issues and if i go into the recorder application and here and if i try to say record something and go into transcript mode here it is you can see that transcript mode is working without any issues on this specific build next thing we can try is let us open the messages application and try to voice type to see what kind of assistant i am getting over here am i getting the old one or am i getting the new one well unfortunately the assistant typing here is the old one so you do not get the pixel 6 exclusive assistant typing because that one has a different icon over here and on the left over here you have a question mark which shows you all the different command options which are available next up we can have a look at the app opening animations to see if there are any lags or any jitters there it is you can see that there are no lags and no jitters in the app opening animations then we can switch between a few applications so here it is switching between applications is pretty smooth as well no jitters and no lags in that respect either google feed pretty smooth no jitters no lags there it is this right now is at 120 and you can see once the content has cached this thing is crazy fast the transition from your google feed to the home screen also works without any issues so what is the final take on pixel experience official build stable of course based on android 12 well you do get the pixel experience but this is not the full pixel 6 experience this i think is pixel 5 experience which you are getting right now but all in all the rom is pretty smooth but very smooth is what i would call it no jitters lags or random reboots and worth a daily driver in my humble humble opinion and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you